Hey guys, Nicole Nesson Haven. Today I have a Hobby Lobby haul to share with you. This is the 80% off clearance haul. I just filmed my 90% off clearance haul from Hobby Lobby. And actually, one item that I said I couldn't find, I located. This was a 90% off item here. The Ann symbol with the superheroes on it, I got for a dollar. But I picked up so much stuff. I saved over $600, so to save myself from having to think and do math on the spot, I'm going to try to just group everything off as they are priced similarly. Similar? Similarly? Sim similarly? Similar. Okay, let's just go with similar. <laughs> so I'm going to price everything off. Um, it has the same price and just kind of do them in little lots for you guys so you can know what the price is and see if your store has them. So if you are in my local Hobby Lobby area, you will not find any of these because I did buy all of them. <laughs> I originally was only going to buy one of each for myself, but then I thought it'd be a good item to resell. So I went ahead and picked them all up. <laughs> they were originally $4.99, so I got them for a dollar a piece. They had carrot, chili pepper, melon, this cute little corn one, watermelon, my favorite, <laughs> onion. I thought this one was really well made here, and the bell pepper, so... Yeah, I thought those were super cute garden markers and I was happy to get those for a dollar a piece. All right, so the next grouping here were $5.99 originally, so I got these for a dollar twenty a piece. I thought these were super precious little plant holders here. We got two in the pink bird and two in the blue bird. I thought these were super cute. I do believe they had one other color. I want to say it was either yellow or green, but I just went ahead and grabbed the pink and the blue. So for $1.40, I picked up two of these signs here. They're $1.40 a piece with stickers falling off. <laughs> um, yeah, so I thought these were super cute signs with little cherries on them. And more than likely, I'll resell these in my booth. I do love the way blue and red look together, so I might keep one myself. I do kind of have some uh, kind of gardening decor in my kitchen. So this is probably my favorite item that I actually got in this entire haul. These pink little cute precious planters. How stinking cute. These little clocks here. Um, it doesn't have the clock on the back. It's just one-sided. So cute though. So these were at the $7.99 price point for those and these really nice blue pottery styled plates here were $7.99 as well, so $1.60 a piece. Great deal. These are probably my favorite finds, I think. Um, I'm keeping these for myself. I can't wait to figure out how to display these because those are so cute. I love those. All right, so these items here were on clearance for $2 a piece, originally $9.99. I got this really cute wooden sign here with a kind of popped out metal uh, saying, welcome to our happy, crazy, fun home. It's in that really pretty uh, robin's egg blue. So I am keeping this for myself. I love that. Then I picked up this happy sign here. It does bend there with the little hinges. I thought that was super cute. I like the colors. More than likely, I'm keeping that as well. And then I thought this was really cute as well. Have a cherry on top kind of day. It is a metal. It's not actually wood like a lot of these tend to be wood. So it is a nice metal um, little <laughs> a wall hanging there. So yeah, that's super cute as well. Only $2 a piece, guys. I just got one item at the $11.99 price point. So this was $2.40. I don't have a particular um, idea in mind for using this banner, but it has, does have this pattern with all the colors on this side, and then it also has the uh, polka dot in the same colors. I thought it was a super cute banner, and I could always use this in the booth to kind of decorate it up in the spring or summertime, or obviously like a birthday party or something. This is kind of what it looks like down here. And I thought for $2.40, it was a really good size and super cute find. This was another one of my favorite finds. I kind of forgot about this one. Super, super cool. Jesus Sweet Tea Farmhouse and Antiques. Everything I love. So um, these were at the $13.99 price point, which I believe is $2.80 a piece. 
super good deal. I'm keeping one myself and either gifting or reselling the other. Um, yeah, go, go grab these guys if they have them. They're so cool. So these next two items were $3 a piece with the clearance price. You got the really pretty clouds in the background here with the Oh Happy Day. It's quite, quite a good size there. It does have a slight bit of damage, but I didn't think it was that bad for $3 and I think it's super cute. And the other thing that I got for $3 that was originally $14.99 is this really pretty dream catcher here. And um, yeah, I thought those are really cool finds and for three bucks, you can't beat it. So I ended up getting this for $3.60, originally $17.99. You can see it looks like a little bit of an issue here, but I think that might just wash off. I'm not really sure what that is, but I plan to put this over my kitchen sink. I like the wood on it and the popped out galvanized metal detailing to this. So I thought that was super cute. I'm gonna try to do away with the wire and put some kind of different um, hinges or uh, what you call it on the back of it so you don't see that. But yeah, that's gonna be cute above my sink. Also at that $3.60 price point, I picked up two of these farmhouse baskets. I picked up a couple more that are different than this. They're a little bit more expensive. I'll show you in a second. But I'm gonna keep one of these to add to my basket wall because I do like the size of it and the color and I'm gonna go ahead and resell the other one in my booth. What are you guys thinking so far? Lots of good deals. I'm sorry, I'm kind of rushing. I picked up a lot of items, so I'm hoping to get through them quickly so you guys can run out to the store and get your good deals as well. All of these items on the table were $19.99, so I got them for $4 a piece. The first thing I grabbed was a ceramic, praise the Lord, kind of house-shaped thing. It does light up. It had a little switch here to try it, and I believe it has an on switch on the bottom but I thought that would be great for Christmas season or Easter decor or really just keep it out year round because why not? <laughs> and then I picked up this Home Sweet Farmhouse. Um, it is a wall piece. It has hinges on the back, but I, I think it's deep enough that you could use it for a tray as well if you wanted to just use it as like a centerpiece on your table or something. So um, yeah, that's that. I thought that was really cool. And I picked up two of these, I'm Proud to Be an American, where at least I know I'm free, that Lee Greenwood song we all know that comes out around 4th of July every year. Um, I don't know, does Canada have Hobby Lobby? I wonder what kind of sign they would have made in place of this. Um, yeah, that's interesting. I don't know if you guys, I know I have a lot of Canadian watchers, so I don't know if you guys have Hobby Lobby. Let me know below. I'd be interested to know that. And these are the other two baskets I picked up um, here for $4 a piece. I will likely resell both of these. I think they're a little bit too large for my basket wall. I might try it, but we'll see. They also had some that were just metal. I didn't really like the looks of them that much. I'm, I'm more into the natural wood um, farmhouse stuff, so I don't mind a little bit of metal detailing. It's kind of kind of nice but when it's all metal I don't know it just kind of looked a little weird to me so I didn't get those I might um, you know if they go 90% off I might go back to Hobby Lobby this weekend and see what they got left all right so we're starting to get into the little bit more expensive stuff um, these were five dollars a piece originally $24.99 this is a super heavy-duty galvanized uh, tray Caddy. <laughs> Caddy is the word I believe I was looking for. Um, yeah, I thought this was, you can have some detailing there. I thought this for five bucks, I didn't think that was a bad deal for that at all. There was one more left I left behind. I kind of wanted to grab it, but my cart was getting full and I was, you know, a little bit nervous what my price was going to be at uh, checkout. So I started to uh, dwindle it down a bit as the prices went up. I also picked up this sign here. He will come to save everyone who is waiting for him, Hebrews 9.28. One of the reasons I love Hobby Lobby, they always have a ton of scripture and Christian items. So I think that's really great. And they're also closed on Sundays and you don't get that anymore really. So I think that's pretty cool too. The next item I picked up was this really cool cloud. This is cut out here, um, kind of coat rack, or I suppose you could hang hats and maybe your necklaces or whatnot off of it. I thought this would be really cute in the little girl's room or something. 
Um, more than likely, I will resell this and I could, I could maybe give it to my nieces as well. I'm not sure if they're in need for something like this, but yeah, for $5, I thought that was super cute. Anyways, I love all the different colors on it. I grabbed one pillow um, just for myself. I liked the colors to it. They had a lot of this cherry um, kind of decor with the blue checkered behind it throughout. Um, if you guys go, you'll see what I mean. It's a lot of cute stuff. If you're into that kind of color and decorate that, I don't necessarily decorate with that color all the time, but I don't mind adding pieces and elements of that into my decor. And for $5 for a really nice pillow, couldn't go wrong with that, right? So these items here were $6 a piece, so $29.99 originally. I thought this was super cute with the galvanized tin roof on it. it has the chicken wire in the back. And then it has the three caddies here. Um, not really sure what I would use it for. More than likely I'm reselling that, but I thought it was cute anyways. I suppose you could put some vases and some flowers in it or um, spices or condiments, um, maybe even silverware, uh, utensils and stuff. So anyways, I thought that was super cute for only six bucks. I got another one of those galvanized caddies. This one has the five sections in it there same kind of style so that one was six dollars and I, I'm not sure if this was five dollars or six dollars um, the tag was off of it when I got up there and I want to say it was five but I know it was either five or six and they actually had a white one which I kind of wish I would have got now but I don't know the black one kind of just looked more authentic I guess at the time when I was looking so yeah I'm just gonna resell that as well so but they do have this in white if you guys are interested these are my last two items guys thanks for bearing with me it's going to end here with this rooster and this bowl <laughs> um, these are a little pricey but that is a huge rooster like here's my hand so it's like three 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 and a half of my hand <laughs> Um, so these are $8 a piece. I am reselling the rooster. I think I can get around 20 for it. And if you guys saw one of my, it's quite old now, I can't remember when I went, but it was like a shop with me at Hobby Lobby. You know I liked this here. And sure enough, I waited and got it on clearance. So I didn't pay $40 for it. I ended up paying eight. And I just really liked it. It has the like cool feather detailing here hanging off of it um the florals on it and stuff so i just thought this would be a nice piece to add to my floral wall and kind of break up all the just plain pictures i have so yeah i was happy to get that well that's gonna do it for me guys that is my hobby lobby 80 percent off haul be sure to run out to your store if you have one near you go soon because i'm sure everything is going quick now and thank you guys so much for watching i hope i was able to show you some cool items that Hopefully you're excited to try to go out there and find yourself and if you're not subscribed already I would appreciate it if you would consider subscribing. I'd love to have you and we'll catch you next time guys